Okay, yeah, but I are, saw her. <laughs> we are about to be live. We are about to be live, so I'll tell you when you can get started with the presentation. Can you wait for Elisa now? Uh, I think we say we can start with the introduction, and she will be joining. I think. It's a pity that she's not here too. All right, guys, you can get started. Okay, thanks, Bertra. Hi, Elisa. Hi, hi. Hola. Welcome. <laughs> so, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are starting to uh, with another section of. Uh, the unconference, the Designscape, uh, Designscapes Unconference. And today we will talk with uh, Elisa, Elisa de los Reyes Garcia Lopez from the project Agroplaza Quirinho. Uh, with me, I have uh, Ilaria Tozzoni from Politecnico di Milano. Hi, Ilaria. <laughs> and uh, I'm Talita Medina, also from Politecnico di Milano. And uh, I will start, I will ask, sorry, Bertrand, can I already have the, the permission to, uh, to, okay, yeah, to share my screen? Here we go. Okay, can you see the slides? Yes. Okay, so. Uh, this afternoon we're gonna we go have the project Agroplaza Quirinho. Uh, ah, sorry. And we have with us, as I said, Elisa, El Elisa Garcia Lopez. And uh, the project Agroplaza was the, the in, was one of the 10 winners of the third call for pilots of Designscape for, uh, that received the grant uh, for scalability proof. So I think uh, you are one of the um, few projects that actually enter in the third phase, direct on the third call of a, of a designscape. So this is also a particularity of, the, of your project. And uh, just uh, a, few, a few words about the project. So the project aims at promoting experimentation and learning environments for urban ecology. Uh, Agropassa uh, aims to co-designing and installing pieces of urban furniture that promote sustainable practices. Uh, featuring technological system for God's exchange, waste reduction and production of renewable energy. So, and just to uh, focus a little bit more on, on, the, um, on, the, on the project, I selected like just a few keywords. I don't know if you agree, Elisa, but it was the, the main keywords that came to my mind the project. So the first is action on public space, because it's a project about uh, experimental urban furniture on, on uh, at, uh, up, at least up to now, it uh, was uh, developed in public spaces. Uh, the second key word for me is a participatory process uh, through community pool that they called Kits de Investigación Cultural. Mm -hmm. uh, urban, so the third word, key word is urban furniture. Uh, performance versus activities. Performance, I mean, like the the recla the the the, the reclaim by the citizens of uh, some shadow, some protection, some uh, 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 rooftops, uh, places to sit. So performance of the spaces and furniture for a specific activities. So kids playing, old uh, um, seniors. Um, seniors uh, furniture for, for some games or, uh, and, and so on. So for me, this is, this is the, the, two, the two lines of the, the design, uh, uh, the design uh, um, of the design. So the performance, the request for some performance, performative uh, um, qualities versus some 
uh, um, uh, specific furniture for activities. Uh, the fourth is community engagement versus consensus. So more engaged the community, more consensus we have on the, on the project. Uh, installation as a trigger for larger urban transformation. So an uh, interesting point of your project is that uh, you do not understand the, your installation as the end, but as also a trigger for to enlarge uh, some other uh, uh, transformations uh, around the, this uh, specific the, the public space or the square that you are uh, you are um, using for the project, and uh, it and the the, the last uh, keywords comes from from them from the AgroLab uh, document. So this is a lab for experimentation and learning uh, environment for urban ecology and culture. And then uh, Elisa will explain us uh, with uh, her presentation. So I give the floor to Elisa at this point. I stop uh, sharing. Okay, so I can share my screen now. Ah, oh, yeah, I have to have to, yeah, I have to have permission. Yeah, consent for my consent. Okay, it should be it. Okay, okay. Well, so first of all, hello to Talita and Ilaria. I'm very yeah, and thank you for for the introduction. And um, yeah, I'm Elisa de los Reyes from Elisa de los Reyes Garcia from Puff Studio. Now I'm sharing my. Can you see my? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I also had, yeah, so uh, first of all, just to introduce uh, PEF Studio, we are a group of uh, architects, we are all women, and uh, uh, work from Bilbao and Madrid mainly, and also we have some projects in Lima, in Peru. And yeah, we do this uh, kind of uh, architecture that is uh, not so common or, you know, like not uh, so disciplinary in some way, as we make uh, architectural design and urbanism projects, but also we link them to action research, to working with communities and in different kinds of projects. And yeah, and like the main, some of the concepts that are very linked to our activity is uh, collaboration, ecology, inclusion, innovation. So just to, and uh, first of all, just to, to frame a little uh, this project, Agroplaza makes part of a, a, an action research project that we started in 2011 and that has had many names. <laughs> now it was first, uh, first it was Agronautas, then it changed to Biotic City and now Biotica. And it's, uh, it's all the time uh, that what we, we want to, with, with our practice, what we want to do is to change in some way how the, how the, um, uh, the world works in some ways. Uh, we understand that we are in an ecological crisis and also that uh, there is a need uh, of more inclusion in the spaces uh, that we live. And the thing is that we, we think that if we want to change that this, all these things are very linked to the way we live, to ways of life. And that uh, the way we live is very linked to um, to how objects uh, uh, that surround us are made and are designed, and there is a connection between how we design the objects and the spaces, and how we live in these spaces, how we live. So uh, we work not only with the design and building of the things, but also. Uh, we link it a lot with how it is used, how users use the things. And we think it's like more like a circular relationship uh, between uh, these two things, no? between uh, objects and spaces and, and ways of life. And then we, we, well, we have this concept uh, map uh, with uh, all these things that are part of that, no? the territory, city, also the uh, technology, technology we use and practices and resources, energy and everything. 
So we developed Biotica from, well, we started in uh, 2011 and the first thing we made was a documentary that was around us. And we started making like a lot, uh, different workshops and this kind of uh, open space interventions in public spaces like our kitchen in Bilbao. But since then we have also developed other type of projects from uh, working as designers uh, like this, like the interior of, a, well, this is a, um, a local designer's point in, in Bilbao, in, well, like in the main art center in Bilbao, or here that we are working now in a local public market in Arasate Mondragon that also links uh, uh, agriculture and local production to, to, the, um, to the final uh, consumer. So it, we, we think it, it all makes part of the same thing. Uh, the project we started in 2011, uh, we started with making workshops. It was a very experimental process that we, we started. Uh, we, from since uh, 2011, we have made around 20 workshops in different parts So uh, mainly in Spain, but also in other parts of Europe. Uh, where we work with uh, communities in different uh, spaces. And what we do is to uh, design, to define what these communities need in order to minimize their uh, impact in the environment and also uh, create places to meet or to do their activities. Uh, we have worked a lot with a garden, like community gardens, but also with uh, public institutions like uh, cultural centers like Matadero in Madrid, or also we made uh, some projects in, well, in Barcelona or uh, well, Bupal, also Alicante, and also like in Iceland in Reykjavik, for example, like in very different places. And what we did uh, every time was to design uh, these uh, spaces. And then uh, what we used to do was to build, uh, to self-build, the, the prototypes with the community. So that they, this also created like a very um, special relationship uh, in, the, in the community. Um, from that, we, we made like a lot of different prototypes in different places related to the different uh, problems or needs that had these different communities. And then in 2015, uh, in Getafe, they asked us to make an intervention in a public uh, space, uh, like in a big plaza, like in one of the biggest plazas in the, in the city. So we proposed them to, to do a roplaza, to make a roplaza. There is a, like um, a public space that we wanted to transform to uh, these different dispositives that were, were made of were furniture, urban furniture, that uh, from our point of view could change in some way the way uh, the city was being used. And uh, because they, they were at the same time, they transformed the place uh, in a square where you could just stay, but also like a place where you could learn something like uh, some kind of uh, outdoor classroom, something like that, uh, but also uh, uh, some kind of exhibition. Uh, so Agroplaza uh, is like a compendium, some kind of compendium of these different prototypes we had made before with those different communities in experimental uh, wor uh, workshops, um, organized in five topics that uh, for us uh, were important in order to transform uh, ecologically and socially uh, the city. So there was a social space, but also some dispositives uh, related to energy, other to waste and yeah, to reusing and waste, uh, other to water and other to farming. Um, like for example, related to farming, they were all these kind of uh, prototypes made of uh, sustainable materials. And in the farming area, you could find like a different uh, dispositives for urban farming, but also how to farm in the forest or uh, well, some, uh, also the place was uh, related to some workshops that were being held during the installation. So you could also learn how to, 
to make beehives or these kinds of things. Uh, also, uh, yeah, like some all the other dispositives uh, about water, uh, water treatment, uh, how to like a garden, for example, that uh, is watered by the rain, no, uh, with some deposits, or also a uh, phytoperation of water that had been already used in order to to make it uh, clean. Or, or related to energy, for example, some uh, very interactive prototypes where people could make energy from their movement. For example, here in this uh, seesaw where you, uh, where children can use it and they play and at the same time they are producing uh, some energy in order to lighten the, the space. And yeah, and other places just to, uh, for example, related to waste, like a place to, to be together and exchange uh, different uh, uh, different things, no, or to repair things. We were also doing these kinds of workshops. So that is the project, no, Afro Plaza, the one that we propose to scale up uh, through the Sciencecapes uh, uh, project. And uh, then we we talked to the um, um, Bilbao City Hall and propose them to install some kind of agroplaza in Bilbao. Uh, so we, yeah, and we propose. So the, the first thing that we had very clear was that uh, agroplaza was for us like a, some kind of collection of different dispositives, but the, it was very important to make a participatory process uh, uh, before, uh, in order to decide uh, what kind of dispositives uh, should be installed in this uh, new new place? So, uh, in the proposal that we made uh, for designscapes and yeah, for Agropatha Kirikino, there was like a there were like three phases. The the um, the first one was the participatory process that at the end was more like about four months uh, from July until October. When we make like different, we used very different uh, methodologies in order to to know uh, how the place was being used and to make like a diagnosis and also how people uh, that really knew about the place uh, wanted it to be used and what kind of thing things we could put there no? in order to transform it. And uh, afterwards, we made like uh, this. Um, Technical design and the fabrication of the of the furniture, and then we we install it. So uh, the whole time for the it was quite important for the participatory process, uh, also because it was all in pandemia. So uh, we we made uh, the, this uh, web page where all the information could be very easy to find, um, so that people could uh, yeah, could know about the project online. Um, and the process in like the, the first uh, steps were to just to find some information about the place by ourselves. So yeah, we, we made some studies of the sun exposure. Also, well, we, we gather all the technical information, but we also made some observations just to know how, how the place was being used by different people in different moments of the day, just to, to know a little more about the place. And, and another thing that we, 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 when we, when we presented the proposal for the science case, for example, we didn't know we were going to use, but we found it was very appropriate uh, also because of the pandemia in order to connect to, to people that maybe couldn't uh, come to the um, presential, uh, you know, the, 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 the meetings and all that was to make a survey uh, where we were also asking people about how was the actual state of the place if it was, uh, and what were the main problems of the space, uh, what uses they wanted to, to maintain and, and which ones they wanted to, to, to introduce or they, wanted, they didn't want to, to happen anymore. And uh, also we, we asked a little about the spaces that we could introduce in the place and also what kind of ecological systems we could use. It was also like a quite 
particular in this you know, in this in this case and, and in, in every uh, process we make uh, with this kind of furniture that uh, we are not we are installing something that people don't know that exists you know these kinds of dispositives you you they are like innovations so people don't know so it's difficult for they them to ask for them so that is why we also give them like some um uh, yeah to to we talk to them it's very important to inf the information we give to them and also to to give them like a different uh, options of uh, what kind of ecological systems and all that so that they can uh, go from that uh, yeah so the first uh, presential thing we, we made was a presentation to to local agents and then we started the, with a cultural kit that was um, it was quite simple, but it was a, like a small book with a different where they could also answer some some data, but also they had like a postcard where they could write down about their um, experiences before in that in that, in that place, or uh, also some. Uh, some maps where they could go, some, some things. It was more a little more creative than a survey or something like that, no? and a little more personal also. And, and the other like a quite big um, event in this uh, participation uh, phase was the cooperation session uh, where we work uh, mostly uh, about uh, the uses of the space about what uh, kind of uses the, the space was having, that we, we had all this information because of the, you know, the previous activities. And then people decided what, which one of them they, they didn't want anymore, or which other things could happen that would be beneficial for the, for the place. And, and then we also work, uh, well, we gave them some information about the, uh, this kind of dispositive of ecological infrastructures, not only the prototypes we have we had already built, but others also, other prototypes, other systems, um, other energies or things that could be also installed. And yeah, and they make like a like some kind of uh, um, yeah of of design of the of this space they wanted to to create. And we also asked them like some very specific questions about the, yeah, the ecological system, the use of the place, who was going to use it, what for, and everything. And yeah, and here we, after that, we made all the design and from all this information, um, it was quite clear that uh, they wanted covered spaces because of the rain and they wanted places you could be there even if it was raining, but it's very common in the north of Spain, in, in Bilbao. Uh, and they also, it was very clear that they wanted vegetation because the, the place is very, is very tough, it's very plain and it's, and it's over a, uh, on top of a parking lot. So yeah, so you cannot, there are some trees that are just in the borders, but it was very important for us. So this vegetation, and they, they were they were very clear about that, and and they they selected a renewable energies for the ecological systems to to introduce because they could choose I don't know water, something with water, or something with related to other things or to, I don't know, to farming or other things, but they, they selected more uh, renewable energies. What we did also was to mix uh, all this information we had from the survey and also the co-creation sessions and everything. So we mixed everything and had the, you know, the final conclusions. And yeah, and also something that was, um, that, yeah, that this that, that was important also is that uh, this this square is quite big, so it's a place where they normally organize events, social events, and uh, associations and everything. 
So, and also some of the associations that organize these events were participated in the, in the process. So, so finally, most of the prototypes they designed were related to doing, making like uh, specific activities in the place. So that is why we finally uh, designed a stage, like a place where you could use when you were organizing events and also like uh, some grandstands where you could also, it was also related to the stage. But at the same time, uh, we, we also found that uh, it was interesting not to just the stage, but the place to uh, where young people could uh, just dance during uh, normal days or could listen to music like a, not just a place made for events, but uh, like to have more uses, no? like a place where you could stay. So well, all the, the prototypes are use uh, solar panels. So, and they are safe sufficient. Uh, so, and they get illuminated in the night. Uh, it was also well, important also for security and yeah, for the, the vision of the, of the space. Yeah, and they are all made in, in wood. No? We, we, that is why we collaborated with Protec. That was this, um, in just this uh, enterprise for making wooden furniture here in the Basque country. Uh, so yeah, here we have, we have the stage that is like uh, this kind of a space that can be used just to stay and, and with no rain, but also it has, uh, the thing is that it has uh, some speakers that are uh, inserted in the structure. So you can uh, connect your mobile phone and put your favorite music and listen to that uh, like louder so that uh, young people can go there and put their music and just listen to it. Um, as we, we also saw that there were some youngsters that liked to dance in the streets. Uh, we also put some mirrors so that people can look at the mirror and dance. And, and yeah, and that is the idea, the, like a place where you can go and, and meet your, your friends and dance and listen to music, but it can also be used uh, for events. And at the same time, it has some vegetation, so it can get uh, like some kind of tree that is not possible to be planted in the place. And on the other side, we have the grandstands, uh, like a place just to, to sit there. And you can also charge your mobile phone there with the, also with the solar uh, panels. And um, yeah, and it also has uh, in the back part, as uh, you can go there with your bicycle and just park it there and, and that's it. So yeah, so that's it. Here I have like some more uh, photographs of the, um, yeah, here you have like the, the dispositive to, uh, for the for plugging your mobile phone and charging and here are the the mirrors uh, so that you can yeah, and you can connect with your mobile phone and here at night uh, it's also important like in every aeroplaza intervention uh, that we make this kind of information panels that you see here uh, where yeah, that are you not know, have these illustrations that I have already shown that um, uh, give some information about the dispositive, how it can be used, this, uh, you know, this saving energy and everything. Yeah, and yeah, and just to finish. Um, at the same time this year, well, in 2020, um, we also presented Agroplaza for the um, Architectural Biennale of uh, Venice, and it was selected for the Spanish Pavilion in, in Venice. So uh, this year it was also exposed like a prototype of Agroplaza in the, in the Spanish Pavilion. 
Uh, it was also like a very interesting experience for us and also a way of showing these kinds of uh, proposals that we make. And in this case, what we, we replicated the, the CISO, the, not this uh, play uh, thing. It was um, a pity a little, but it, as it was the pandemic, people couldn't um, use it as a, you know, that would have been like more beautiful. But yeah, it was also, and, the, and it was like for us, it's like very important this, this idea of the project that is with also like an idea of biotica that is not only, that is that we have this some kind of since, how do you say sensibilization um, objective also, that is not because we think that our projects uh, uh, change, well, want to change in some way society uh, just by, by the use of the, of the things and by making people conscious about some things. So sometimes it's not uh, just maybe the saving of energy that we make is very little or our impact is not like, it, for us it's not that the thing that is like the most important, but the, the impact in the people's mind. No, this, this idea of making people like a thing about this kind of things. And, and also this uh, idea of making people together in public space, in, yeah, in equality uh, areas and everything. So yeah, so that's it. I think, thank you. Thanks, Elisa. Uh, could she be all together? I don't know if yeah. Ilaria wants to start and then I also have some questions to Elisa. Yeah. I have, I have a couple of questions, so thank you very much. It was really interesting um, and fascinating. I think it's, um, it's really an interesting case. Um, I was wondering, um, concerning the, the last thing that you said, that you are trying to, um, to, to provoke changes in the behaviors of, of people and in their, in their mindset. Um, if you have thought about um, uh, interviewing some of the users or making a survey or so at the end of the, the installations to see uh, what are their, their reactions, how it is perceived, or if uh, in some way you, he, mm -hmm. you are being able to, to drive this kind, of, uh, mm -hmm. this kind mm -hmm. of change. This would be really interesting to, to know and to, mm -hmm. to see what are the... Mm -hmm. uh, so this was one, the first comment. Uh, then I, I think it's really um, interesting your, your design process and the way in which you use, use uh, visual inputs to, to dialogue with the, with the participants. Uh, I was really, um, it really um, made me think uh, because uh, we are used to have this kind of workshop with post-its and instead mm -hmm. I, was, I was looking at all these um, uh, nice and, and, and um, evoking pictures. And, and I think I really thought, okay, this makes really sense to, to use mm -hmm. this kind of language with people. So it would be nice to, to know more about your, your design process in this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the third, and then I will keep quiet. It's uh, how do you see uh, your, your experience evolving from this. So how do you think that your, your project can, mm -hmm. can go um, in the future? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, like for, uh, for the first question, um, yes, we, um, this is something we want to work more in, like a, um, like measuring the impact of the of the actions that we make and the uh, of the installations by themselves. Uh, in this case, we in the um, when we made the proposal, there was like a three months in the at the end in order to 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 have some time so that 
in order to evaluate everything like with, with some more time. But uh, finally, there was, uh, well, because I didn't told like, like now uh, I, I, to make it short, but um, it was like a very interesting also part of the process was uh, during the technical uh, design and all these uh, things with the city hall, all these, um, uh, the technical project and everything that we, we have on all, on all the um, conversations with the city hall and all that. Uh, so that, uh, and also because the city hall has its sound times, so it's not so, uh, so fast as we wanted it to be. So finally, the installation was in May uh, instead of January. So it was, uh, no, finally, the science scape was, uh, uh, no, and you, uh, find, um, hope, uh, uh, gratefully, because it was like, uh, thankfully, no, <laughs> because it was like, we were like, oh, <laughs> we were on, on time. So we didn't have so much time to, to collect like a lot of information and the information we collected was more uh, with people that had just uh, seen the installation made. So it was like, just not that we didn't have this time of seeing what happens and all that. But um, in this case, uh, we, we, we made it, we, we sent um, like a survey uh, asking some questions to like very few questions, like uh, four or five questions to some people that had participated in the process because also because we already have like a, some kind of relationship with these people because you know, we were talking to them, so, uh, asking them some uh, doubts and everything. And uh, yeah, in this case, it's also uh, the thing is that uh, this square is like very big. So our installation was small. So there is the, the whole, uh, wait, it's, a, it's like a um, success of the project. It's also that the city hall now wants to transform the, the whole square that it was not in its plans. So, so it's nice, but at the same time, the neighbors, what are they, their, their answers were very linked to this thing of, okay, this is okay, but let's see what happens with the whole square because we want it, you know? So, so in this case, it was not, I don't know. We, we also have to wait a little more to see how it works. It was also like a challenge in this case was uh, to, because uh, the previous installations of uh, these kinds of furniture were most of them were in community spaces or in closed spaces. Or, uh, or for example, in Agroplaza Getafe, it was a, an open space, but we had some security uh, guarding the space during the installation because it was like for two weeks. So the, the installation and then uh, it went to a closed space like some kind of park with a fence so here it was like very um uh, like a very important thing was uh, how to design something that could uh, be vandalized and all that not to be very secure so we are yeah this is something we are also now looking how it is working interesting so you see and yeah, and, and we want to work a little more in this kind of, yeah, we, we also use the, you know, the theory of change and all that, you know, to find indicators. And yeah, we also have this data and it's okay. But it would be, the, the thing is that we normally don't, uh, don't find so easily the funding for doing this, type, this uh, phase of the project. The no. follow up, yeah, yeah, because uh, projects normally the funds go more to the action or to the building thing and all that. And um, yeah, about the design process, um, it is um, a, it's a more or less a, I don't know. It, we, it was very easy for us uh, to have the design scapes uh, guide of different, uh, because in this case, we also use some, some of the methodologies and the things that we used uh, were a little new for us. And we were just thinking how to apply them to the project. So that was very interesting also for us. Uh, 
On the other side, uh, our methodology comes from, we have been doing these types of processes since 2011. So all these different workshops, these community workshops that we made that I told you about, about uh, Sardonato's workshops, uh, there uh, we developed all the different methodologies and we found that the ones that were more creative are more useful when you are, uh, and, and it's very important when you are designing something that is new and something that people doesn't have, don't have in their minds, no? that is an innovation. It's very important to, to, to work with creativity. So it's very important to work with images and with drawings and all that, and not so much with concepts and all that, that can be more rigid in some ways. And um, yeah, and for the last question, it's very important, the, um, like for the experience of the, of after doing the project, um, uh, for us, it was like very, very important in this case to like them, I think like, like the, the most important thing, a step that we have made with this project I think is that uh, this uh, thing of installing uh, furniture, a public furniture in a public space, working with um, a city hall, like with the institution, and not just doing it in a community space or in a art space where it's like something, some kind of experimental thing, but this, this thing of, no, we are changing public space and this is how public space should be made. Uh, and it's we are making public space as architects and as designers, no? So uh, um, this is a, a very big step, I think, going from experimental and everything can happen and all that to this thing, because we, we had to um, talk a lot with the maintaining, no? the, the enterprise that makes the maintaining of every public space in the city, uh, also with the, well, the city hall, um, they were not so very, so worried because, but the, the people that ha, has to do the maintaining are the more worried about what you are going to put there because they have to make the maintenance and it, that is money also for that, for them. So yeah, so I think this, this part of the project was very interesting. And also the part that we, we worked with Protec, that is this uh, enterprise of uh, wood fabrication. And they, the fabrication is digital uh, fabrication of the, of the pieces. So uh, until now we had worked more with, well, in the workshops, we were just doing the things by ourselves. And then we were working with carpenters afterwards. And now in this, um, in this project, uh, we were working in a 3D and we had to have like a very uh, detailed, 3D so that it was the one that was going to be produced. So for us, it was also a different experience and a different way of uh, designing uh, things because we are now normally more like experimental and we make something and then we transform it and all that. And here it was like, okay, once you have decided this, it cannot change. And, but at the same time, it was, it, that worked very, very well. Uh, also, although um, it took, like more and more time, much more time to make the 3D and the detail 3D. Afterwards, it was like nothing for us, like the, no, they were just, the enterprise just they produced it. And when they put it there, it was okay. It's like, as we thought, so it was not, no. So, yes. Yeah. No surprises then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, yeah. I think we are very happy with the with this. We, we hope we can go on in this line, like uh, no. After this step in the public space, like a like a current, like I don't know how to say, like the, uh, the now that we are in the institutional public space, we want to stay there and transform. Mm -hmm. space from there so that is the yeah it makes the sense theme. it seems it seems like a um 
like a, a good perspective for, for, mm -hmm. for the kind of work that you really want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. because uh, it's uh, your project fits well in the strategy of urban transformation, larger urban transformation. So it uh, works like a catalyzer. No, mm -hmm. it's the way uh, uh, it, you you just you just said to us that actually it was like this, because you were catalyzing uh, catalyzing uh, us uh, expectations and also uh, the fact that the municipality decided to go on for a large. Uh, change mm -hmm. uh, transformation. Also, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah. this is the the interesting level of uh, 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 for the project. So the institutional mm -hmm. level and the, and the effect, the impact uh, being in this level, it's much more uh, uh, yeah. large than mm -hmm. uh, doing, mm -hmm. as I said, in community uh, closed community spaces, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, how long it should last? Uh, the, the installation, the, the the project in the in this place, there is mm. no uh. <laughs> forever. If it okay, if it can, <laughs> but but let's see how how it's been treated by the yeah. Okay. Let's I see. Because uh, uh, looking uh, because we have a research group inside the Polytechnic, and uh, so and for us and uh, in looking from our perspective to your project. For me, uh, the next uh, phase, let's say, the, of the project, which is a very important phase, networking is very, very import, 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 important. Because mm -hmm. uh, we call it in our uh, lexico of our research mm -hmm. group uh, is routing. Now, mm -hmm. routing, what for us mean that uh, you uh, create uh, a strong networking for maintenance, also for an agenda no, of events in the in the in the place, to uh, to for the consensus. What, the, what the, you you look for when you say that the participatory process is important to achieve the consensus. Uh, I think also this net, this strong networking, this rooting in the area. And, uh, and, uh, and also by, by using the, uh, an agenda of events and uh, we enlarge this consensus and uh, the networking is also important for the maintenance, the maintenance and the care of, the, of this. When the people yeah. feels it's its own, it, it, it's uh, their um, good, it's uh, more they care about and they look for it. So you, you quoted Jane Jacobs in your in your um, in your application. So it means like the, the eyes of the street. So everyone, when it, it's ours, we all care about kids and uh, and streets and, uh, and mm -hmm. cleaning mm -hmm. and so on. So mm -hmm. uh, in, yeah. in so this follow up uh, follow up to to to. And, and the routing phase, I think, is the next, uh, in, in, our, in our research group point of view, I, it's the next uh, um, step. Uh, mm -hmm. on the and development it's of it's kind usually of mm -hmm. another, mm -hmm. another thing where money is often missing because <laughs> municipalities, they, they have the, the fund, they fund the investment for the infrastructure, um, but then they, they rarely have set aside money for for these kind of follow up phases where you you really have to keep on working with people and and bringing them there and taking care of of uh, what you have. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, what we are well, we are now waiting. But what we proposed to to well in Bilbao, Vizcaya Design Week that is in November. What we proposed was to organize an event uh, inviting working with the associations the, the local associations in order to organize some kind of dancing thing in the in the space and all that no in order yeah. to like yeah, a, because, mm -hmm. yeah because we didn't have the time nor the money for uh, making like a proper uh, no uh, opening of the space so I think it is also important. And also because of the pandemic and all that, we didn't yeah, make it. So 
I hope they give us like some money or something so that we can organize something like that so that people can engage to the to the place because it's very very I think it's very important and and also the the other thing that uh, I think that in this stage that we are um, entering yeah entering <laughs> is the that is that uh, for example we could make this project because we have this design escapes funding because we make the um, the agreement with the uh, city hall that uh, we had the funding uh, they could invest some money in the place but they couldn't uh, just uh, um, uh, you know like pay us for the our our work but it was like we had to have like this because uh, public spaces, for example, in Bilbao, they are designed by, uh, by uh, a, an engineering company that makes all public spaces. Okay. Uh, so what what they proposed us now is to work a little with the, this engineering company in order to uh, to make like the um, uh, you know to the organize the general organization of like the main plan of the of the square according to the participatory process so that mm -hmm. the process can be still there but for example uh, what the engineering company told us uh, also is that they don't have money to um, to design these specific things mm -hmm. so, uh, so it's like there is also like a void there you know because uh, the town hall even if they would like to go on with the, the project. Uh, I think that there is like some kind of, uh, because I don't know why it's like, a, they they told us, oh, we are going on with the project, but it, it's we are still waiting for that. And the thing is that they don't, yeah, they, we can design like the whole square and everything, but if we want to put like something special in the space that is not like some furniture that we just- Catalogs. Wear and all that. Uh, it's impossible to do so we are still waiting to see what happens with that and we are also trying to find any other funding for continuing the project with you not know, being able to design and to also to make some participatory design uh, for this second phase of the of the place but i don't know if we are going to find it because it's like you know, like it's not so easy to yeah. this kind of funding, like the signscapes, is not so easy to have, no, to have some innovation, design innovation in public spaces, no. Yeah. This, and you fit it well because your was uh, scaling, no. You were replicating in another city, so it's exactly for the third phase of the designscape. Yeah. So the follow up or the routing phase is harder to find. A yeah. specific fund for this kind of uh, for, in, for in this phase of the project, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, we 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 really don't know now where mm. we can find the funding, really, because it's like no, we don't know where to look for. <laughs> no, or private, maybe private companies, and well. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, what they say is that that maybe we we have to see how to do that. Is that uh, they? It would be easier for the uh, city hall if we had like some kind kind of catalog. If we had were like an enterprise that have some furniture catalog ah, and yeah. buy our catalog mm. because that kind of things they do that. But what? this idea of designing something that is special for some place for them they 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 should make like a competition like a no then yeah. like an open call and it would take much more time and it would have to be something really special in order to do it so finally i think they are not going to do that will be a pity in some ways because it's a simplification no? because you have the package which is participatory mm -hmm. process code design implementing follow up and simplificating like just being a catalog yeah, <laughs> yeah but, you lose all the yeah. yeah the interactive part of your 
of your yeah. process, which is which is really should be really yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. I, thanks, Elisa, for this interesting presentation. Uh, yeah, congrats for the Biennale di Venezia. I will be there in October. I will remember. Ah, yeah, <laughs> so you have to go and see. Yeah, well, I will. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thanks Bertrand Auger from World Crunch, our partner, our media partner, for helping us, helping us out with this, uh, the logistic, uh, <laughs> logistic help. And uh, thanks, Ilaria, my colleague. Thank you. And you thank you all. Thanks, Elisa. And good Thank luck. you. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. How can we close this? Como que o diamo, Ilaria? I think you just to just have Asha, to. La registrazione la registrazione su Facebook uh, finisce qui. Shoot. Okay. Va bene. Mm. Proviamo. Ti saluto allora. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.